A 74 years old Ghanaian was recently denied permanent residency in the UK after 42 years staying there, married with kids. His name is Nelson Shedi. That's his name. He's a Ghanaian, 74 years old. According to the story, the Ghanaian is a retired 74 years old man who arrived in the UK in 1977. But after living in the UK for almost 50 years, Nelson was informed to wait another 10 years before the home office could grant him permanent residency. Nelson had for many years assumed he was officially British after he first arrived in the UK in 1977 to study accountancy on a student visa that allowed him to work. He only discovered otherwise in 2019 and despite paying taxes all his adult life, now faces paying thousands of pounds to stay and use NHS. According to him, he said, I never left the UK as I saw no need and gradually it as I see it as my home. He said, nobody questioned me. I bought all my things on credit, even the house, I got a mortgage, and nobody questioned me about anything. Explain further, he said, he took on a series of jobs, making mother's bride, uh, pride bread, cake, near, uh, uh, near uh, uh, Southern team, chocolate in Winchester, also a cope in his native Ghana, which affected his family inability to send him money for this for the fees. He added that no one ever queried his right to live or work in the UK. But in a twist of fate in 2019, when he applied for a passport, so he could go back to Ghana. Following the death of his mother, Nelson said he was told he was not British. Official told him to apply for the 10 years routine to settlement. Over the 10 years, it cost about £70,000 with a further of £10,000 over the same period of assets. Well, before I continue, so this guy decided to go back to Ghana after his mother died. After he said he saw no need to go back to Ghana. He saw no need to go back to Ghana. And while he was applying for jobs, since nobody has ever questioned him before, while he bought his house using mortgage and paying taxes, nobody ever questioned him about him not being a British. But now he decided to own a passport because they informed him his mother died. Well, to shock him, he was told as well. He was, he, a was, a he was not a British. He was a visitor. You know, there is an old saying that no matter how a tree, a log of tree, floats on the water, mm can never be an alligator no, no matter the years it has been flowing on that river no, I'm free, it will no. never be an alligator no, I'm free the way they give and they make a believe saying they be one of them <laughs> it's quite unfortunate too <laughs> but wait oh, the question is that now Ghana woman imam marry on a white now white woman no, white woman yes you see the kids they are all white and the uh, second question I want to ask, what happened to a mistake or a normality? 
Mm. What's up to Ram now? I'm a mistake on a normal thing. You get my point. What you happened to the man now, based on the uh, resident permit or not? For what I saw, mm. it's negligent. M mistake from both sides. Okay. Because even the home affairs and the security, how could they not witness such person living in their country? We know there are some people who are in that country for years. Some of our uncles did that country for years. They never come back home. Yeah, you don't. They go work back for themselves. Some they will forget they ever exist again. Oh, yeah. eh? They don't get any passport, nothing, nothing. The thing is that all these days it was very easy for you to become a British uh, citizen. Very, very easy. And the negligence also uh, came from there because this guy paid mortgage. And the unnecessary document for buying a house and all those kind of stuff. But then again, the guy forgot his route. For me, if that guy was in Nigeria, I'll say he's not in Nigeria. Yeah. Because in Nigeria, no will forget his roots, no matter what. No matter what, yeah. You see, you forgot your route. You have chasing the white man. In fact, you gave me do now. You are you are from nowhere. <laughs> you are from nowhere so now. Say more than Okpah, if you come out. If you not even come out, if you not even think about so for it. For almost fifty, almost fifty years. Almost fifty now, years, an old man. You were a fool at 20. You became a fool at the age of 30. 40, 40. you become a fool. Almost 50. 50, now. you became a fool. 60, you became a fool. 70, you became a fool. Additional of four years, you kept being a fool. Well, you mind 74 now. 74 years. 74 years, this guy forgot his route. Never for once. It's not a sin and slave trade kind of thing. <laughs> but the, okay, no, the guy forgot his route. Forgot his so, so route. So for, where yeah. you came from. In fact, I believe if he was even seeing some Ghanaians, he wasn't mingling with Ghanaians there. If not, they would have told him. He wasn't. That means he never really adored where he, he, where he, come, he, from. Where he come from. That is to say, he doesn't have relations to relate with. He prefer white. He has never helped anybody before. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If he has helped, something, something must have prompted up. They'll say, okay, you need to submit your visa. That guy, no guy, no go get, no get investment for him. For, for he doesn't him. have any investment for me. Eh? I think God is teaching him a lesson. I think so too. Eh? He's not a, a, a South Africa. Eh, sorry, he's not a British. He's not a Ghanaian. Ghania. I think he, he should go to South Sudan. <laughs> he black like South Sudan. <laughs> if I may be Ghanaian, eh, I will not accept that man as a Ghanaian. Honestly speaking, you are not a Ghanaian. You forgot your route. Totally. Totally forgot your route. You should be ashamed of yourself as an so old man. Since, since you go UK, you know, we more than us at Shipai. That's too bad. That's too bad. And he, has he assisted anybody? I want to. Uh, that kind of person know they assist anybody. I, I believe she you know won't get that number. That kind of person will not even like to mingle with other Africans. Because by that time, by that time we even go deal. Phone never the way we say we say phone day way number. Africa never get phone based on normal personal phone. Yeah, normal personal phone. Yeah. So personal phone no So I want to get the number. I don't show you that guy even know he wrote on your house for Africa. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You should check it. The thing is just nemesis. I'm so happy the thing is happening to him. You are not. White man don't claim it. White man <laughs> don't claim it. Should be that. Ah, uh, yeah. So grown children, oh. grown children, and you couldn't one day for take one your day. children one day to give them your history. No, 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 no. The man is truly a useless man. God know why this thing happened to him. The man is truly a useless you man. Belong here, you belong here. From nowhere. You that means if you die tomorrow now, they're not going to know where to carry your body. <laughs> you, try and say what <laughs> you are from nowhere. You are from nowhere. I don't feel pity for him. I don't feel pity for him one bit. Because so, so four years. Now they say we wait for another ten years. Yes, for him to get uh <laughs> I used to be considered I got the eighty four years. Bleating we can do. 
Where is your country for how many years? You see, we 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 for more than years. It's an outcast. It's an outcast. <laughs> but how did you get all the properties? Huh? Now I say now also from like how did you even get all the property? You said you're supposed to do your own, own homework. How about? Go on teach and lesson. I know. Go on teach and lesson. He's a wicked man who don't interact with his brothers and sisters, who don't assist. That's why it's happening. Yo, the simple now will be saying you don't appreciate where you come from. So if you don't appreciate you. Like that time they say, I wish I'm a white. You, exactly. Like that type, yeah. You don't appreciate it. That's why now you are Mr. Nobody. Nobody know you. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you very much for watching the boy again. Let's catch you next time. Peace.